What's up guys, Steed here, and welcome back to Undertale. Alright, we're gonna continue in Alphys' laboratory, which is really fucking freaky by the way. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh god, what did you do, Alphys? What did you do? Oh god. Oh, why am I moving so slow now? Fuck? What the hell was that about? Oh my god. What the hell is that? Well, there's a safe point at least. Oh, wait. Of, of course. Why would the safe point be right in the middle of, like, that pathway where I couldn't go. Smells like sweet lemons? Oh god! The fuck is this, man? Lemon bread. Call, scream, unhug, hum, flex, and cry. Okay, so what mixture of monsters is this? It looks like Shiren, the body. Let's hum. Lemon bread's body shape. Human familiar tune. Welcome to my special hell. What the fuck, man? Oh shit! Oh god. Oh god. No! It smells like sweet lemons. Um. Uh. Unhug? You let lemon bread be. The lemon's breath teeth shakes, but nobody came. Oh god! Oh! Oh god! <sighs> um. Okay, um. Flex? You flex your arm. Red seems to remember something. I've felt this before. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. How did I get out of that without getting hit? Could this be goodbye? Oh. Flippity flippin' doodah. I guess I should have checked up here first. That looks. You know what that looks like? That looks like. Like, uh, that. That skeleton thing, or whatever the hell it is, it looks like, um, it looks like that, that, uh, weird, crazy, like, teeth version of, like, Flowey that I fought. Kind of. There's a, okay, oh, I got the yellow key, that's right. The yellow key fits perfectly in the slot. What does that say? There's no, you can't make it all under sheet. Okay, under sheets, right. Um... Entry number four, I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Astro has watched them. I don't think he should. There are a bunch of VHS and some, like, seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized for, save for a few stray sticky ones. Uh, okay. A VHS player with a few tapes picked up beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Uh, oh, okay. I guess we'll start with tape one. Psst, Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. He he he. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momeranian. <laughs> ho ho ho. You sure are excited to be have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be a famous Momedian. Well, I am going to bed. <laughs> hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Ha ha ha, I know. I am just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. 
Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, that's why it's dark. So that was Astor and Toriel. Okay, Skid, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Skid, what the fuck? Skid, why am I in this? Ah, he he he. Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me, haha. <laughs> What the fuck did I come across? Howdy, Skid. Smile for the camera. Ha, huh, this time I got you. I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have left it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. Who's talking? Why am I in these videos? Why would I just laugh off like somebody getting sick? I don't like this idea, Skid. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Skid. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everybody. I'll go get the flowers. The fuck? Skid, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Skid, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Skid, please, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said I'd, said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six, and we'll do it together, right? <sighs> okay. <sighs> DT extraction machine. Oh, wait, determination extraction machine. Status inactive. Is that what Flowey is? A giant determination extraction machine? Entry 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. What's this? It's a refrigerator. It's empty. This refrigerator seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number... That refrigerator moved. I swear to God it moved. Yeah, see? It just did it again. Entry number 20. Astor left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Astor. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Then why is it jittering like that? Whatever. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. This refrigerator seems to contain samples. It's empty. Okay. What the fuck? It's so cold. Why is this so fucking creepy? Check heckle joke laugh. Uh, uh, check. I'm already zero times zero times. Seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. Uh, joke? You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, ha, I remember. The fuck? Joke again? You told a bad pun about the snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, ha, thank you. I'm so freaked out right now. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Uh, well, I found the blue key. Uh, I already have the green key. I bet this says bathroom. Or, or curtain, whatever. I'm so freaked out right now. This is fucking weird, man. Okay, I got the final key. I think that was it. I did. I put the yellow, I put the green, yeah. I put the red, now I need to put the blue in that one over on the right side. 
Man, Alphys, what the hell did you do? The music really fits this area too, by the way. The music fits nicely. Okay. That should mean that the power room is open now. At least I hope so. I think it is. What the f fuck? Did you guys see that? Yeah, look, the sheets on the bed are going down by themselves. I guess because I already lowered the sheets or whatever. That's weird. This game really knows how to scare the sh crap out of you. Okay, how am I on items? I haven't, like, really ran into anything super difficult, just creepy shit. Yeah, the door opened. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Why is there multiple doors to the elevator? It seems to be turned off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. I can't move. Fuck. Oh, f damn it. I can't do anything. Hey, stop. Alphys, I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips on you and <laughs> you had, and... Anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were on one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried that I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Alphys. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. Don't ever resort to that. Don't ever resort to anything like that. Anybody. As you probably know, Asdor asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death. But their experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. Couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I had done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Okay. Well. Um, interesting. Whoa. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? She did make flowy. The flower's gone. Uh, it's a voice you've never heard before. Skid, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Skid, see you soon. Whoa! What the f- Uh...
Sorry about that, guys. My phone rang right at the, like, worst possible time. The door is jammed shut with vines. What the hell is going on? There's no save point either. I guess it's- I guess that's it. I guess that's all I had to do? Was there nothing else I had to do in the game? So I have to- I'm gonna go fight Asdor again, I guess? I hope this is a save point. All the save points that were through this hallway are gone. Okay, there's a save point. Okay, well... Alright guys. Oh, back so soon. How are you feeling? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but I'm gonna end this episode here because uh, I've reached my time limit. And when we come back, maybe we'll have the last episode. I mean, I already thought it was gonna be the last episode before, but who knows. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, if you guys have enjoyed, subscribe for more, hit that like button, comment down below, and that's it for me. So I'll see you guys next time.